Venom is one of the most well-known Marvel characters, has become increasingly popular since his first appearance on the comic in the late 1980s, even getting his own solo film in 2018 and 2021. While the character is immensely popular among fans, there is a lot of strange trivia around the Venom character. Because Venom was such a big part of the 1990s, a decade that many believe to be a bizarre decade for comics. He was subjected to some of the oddest and most puzzling stories of the time. And here are some of the weirdest and most fascinating facts about everyone's favorite anti-hero Venom. Number 10. Venom Can't Lie The Venom symbiote is not the most moral of species. Over the years, audiences have witnessed the symbiote, with various hosts, murder and mutilate countless victims, including innocents. However, it is revealed in issue 23 of Thunderbolts that the Venom symbiote is incapable of lying. This is fascinating to consider, and it makes interactions with the symbiote much more appealing. Number 9. Venom Scorpion's Diet Eddie Brock and Peter Parker aren't the only characters from Marvel Comics that have merged with the symbiote. The Scorpion famously connected with the Beast, leading in one of the most deadly and bloody Venom legends of all time. This Venom embraced its cannibalistic nature, famously declaring that he enjoyed eating Asgardians. Surprisingly, another of this character's favorites was a squirrel. Number 8. Eating Chocolate The Venom symbiote has a savage appetite for flesh that isn't confined to non-human creatures since the Venom character has been known to devour people during his various adventures over the last few decades. Chocolate, however, was one aspect from 1990s comics that helped to assuage this desire. For whatever reason, chocolate can satisfy the symbiote's need for blood. Number 7. Venom Automobile While Batman's Batmobile is undoubtedly the most famous comics automobile, and, obviously, required for the character of Batman to navigate around Gotham. This hasn't stopped other comic writers from creating branded vehicles for their heroes. For some reason, Venom also got his own Venom automobile, while Flash Thompson was the symbiote's host. Venom demonstrated its ability to control cars as well as humans by smashing through objects and buildings such as walls with the Venom automobile. Number 6. Tongue Clone The Venom symbiote is one of the most robust creatures in the Marvel Universe, with the only real vulnerabilities being heat and sound. But it can also be reproduced, which leads to one of the fiercest battles between symbiotes in the comics. In one comic, Venom's tongue was severed and later recovered by the Ararat Corporation, which then cloned the tongue to produce a new symbiote. However, after a conflict between the two symbiotes, the clone was reabsorbed by the Venom symbiote. Number 5. Venom Symbiote Loves Spider-Man It's well knowledge that the symbiote originally bonded with Spider-Man, igniting the black suit storyline. While Spider-Man eventually managed to escape the symbiote's grip, the Venom symbiote itself hasn't fully recovered from the breakup. Venom has the spider emblem on his chest, as well as webbing, and the ability to overcome Spider-Man's own spider sense. The Venom symbiote has a complicated love connection with Spider-Man. Number 4. Exiled from its race The reason why the symbiote is frequently sent crashing to Earth in some form is rarely explored, especially in film and television versions. However, a rationale for its exile from its homeworld was given. The Venom symbiote was declared unworthy to be a part of the hive mind on its planet after it was corrupted by the first host it linked to. The others of Venom's kind expelled the creature into space. Number 3. Enhances existing urges Some may argue that the symbiote corrupts people, turning them from morally good to morally evil. This, however, is not the case. Instead, the symbiote simply amplifies the host's existing impulses. This suggests that all Venom hosts have deep-seated desires that are not imposed by the symbiote. Even Spider-Man's aggressive temperament while wearing the black suit was a part of him. Number 2. Venom was originally meant to be female 
Originally, comic book creator David Michelini envisioned Venom as a female. The original concept was for Venom to be a pregnant lady whose husband was killed when a cab driver became distracted with Spider-Man and ran over him. She'd then lose the baby after going into labor right away. This is obviously a lot more tragic story than Eddie Brock's, but the reason for dropping this subject was considerably more embarrassing than merely being too tragic for their intended audience. Then, according to Marvel Comics editor Jim Salakrup, a woman would not be a suitable foe to Spider-Man. Number 1. First Host of Venom Symbiote For years, it was assumed that Spider-Man was the first host of the Venom Symbiote, but Deadpool's Secret Wars revealed that the Deadpool really pipped the webhead to that honor. Deadpool joins with the symbiote, and while first impressed with the costume, discards it after discovering the symbiote attempting to read his thoughts. Deadpool was concerned that the symbiote would go nuts if it read his thoughts. This are some of the most bizarre facts regarding everyone's favorite anti-hero Venom. Please let me know in the comments which facts surprised you the most. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. This way, you won't miss any of our future videos.